Okay. Uh, thanks. Cool. All right. Uh, thanks for the introduction, Elisha. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, we are Team Tech Ladies. I am Hui Min. I'm an analyst. This is Shalane, who is a pet groomer, and this is Maggie, who does product, uh, project management. So for our presentation tonight, we will be breaking down our time uh, section into three sections. We're first going to be touching on very briefly about the organization that is Tech Ladies. We'll then talk a little bit more, more about the application, and then finally, we'll share a little bit with you um, our bootcamp journey. Okay, so Elijah has already spoken at length about Tech Ladies, so for the purposes of our presentation, we'll be focusing mainly on the bootcamp itself. So since Tech Ladies' inception in 2016, Tech Ladies have already organized three bootcamps to date. So that means that, as Elijah has spoken before, they have accepted, seen 264 bootcamp submissions. Out of these 264, they have taught 29 bootcamp participants. And finally, out of these 29, they have successfully helped eight of these ladies land uh, technical internships or jobs. However, have you ever wondered like, what goes on behind the scenes for Elijah and um, the coaches when it comes to the selection process? So unfortunately, tech ladies have been ranking and sorting bootcamp applications manually uh, with Google Forms and Sheets, which had been incredibly time consuming. What they need now is an application to integrate this entire process. Okay, so this is a snapshot of what the application uh, looks like, which was it's way too cluttered and way too many words for anyone to read. So let us now take you through very briefly how a typical bootcamp application was processed prior to this app that we've built. So as an applicant, you would fill in your, submit, your application into Google Forms. All the applications would then be consolidated into Google Sheets and tidied up by Elisha. She would then nag the coaches via Slack to get in there and assess all these applicants. The coaches, upon being notified, would then go into the Google Sheets, make their assessments, and get back to Elijah with the results. After which, Elijah would look through for a final selection and then communicate either a rejection or an acceptance offer to these applicants. Now, as you can see, the old evaluation process is time consuming, it is inefficient, it's repetitive, it's not scalable, not to mention a little bit naggy. Now, what this means is that with the application that we've built, not only will this evaluation process, uh, evaluation uh, inefficiencies be eliminated, it will now become an integrated platform that not only is more streamlined, more efficient, more scalable, we, we have built in additional components to flag incomplete applications, to sort applications to team, applicants to teams, and finally, we will also have a system for ranking. Now this application will bring about time savings for both Elisha and the coaches, particularly for Elisha where she previously had to spend upwards of 15 hours to manually sort, reconcile all these applications. Going forward, she will be spending less than 50% of that time to do the same. Good for Elisha. So that is equivalent to more than 50% time savings um, with this application built. I guess I'll now pass on the mic to Shalane who will share a little bit more about the application that we have built. On to you. Thank you, Hui Min. Uh, just a check. Can everybody hear me from the back? Back row? Okay, good. Okay, so hi, my name is Shalane. Um, I'll take you through the application itself. So sorry, we're having a bit of problems with the quicker as well. And, uh, so I'll just go on with the application. So this is our design process uh, for the application. Uh, the three components are the entity relationship diagram the wireframing and the toolbox. So I'll go into more detail. <coughs> nope. Doesn't work. 
Nope. It's okay now. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So to start with, uh, this is an entity relationship diagram. Can I see a show of hands who have seen an ERD before, for short? Okay, great. I have like one third of the room. That's good. <laughs> okay, so basically this, right, is a visual representation of the entities and their data elements and how they relate to each other in the app. Okay, don't worry if I just spoke French. I just, um, just to uh, introduce. So the first two boxes you see uh, in blue, uh, namely the applicant and the boot camp, these two are uh, entities that are related to each other. So for every application process, we have an applicant applying to a boot camp. So in this case, to demonstrate the relationship, an applicant will always belong to a boot camp, and a boot camp will have many applicants. So for this application, we identified eight entities, which forms the backend ERD structure of our app. Okay, so that's the back end. Moving on to the front end, uh, we have wireframes. So wireframes are a set of images um, that represents the user interface or the front end of how the app looks. So we hired a UX designer, or we worked with a UX designer, um, Esther, I'm not sure whether she's here. Uh, yes, who came up with these three cat icons, especially for Elijah. Okay, she's the main user of the app as an admin, so yes. So um, what we wanted for the app was a very clean and uh, intuitive interface. So even the color coding of the buttons were well thought of. So these buttons actually represent like, certain statuses of the bootcamp itself. So now on to our toolbox. Uh, these are the tools that we use to build the application. On the left, we have Slack and Trello. Uh, Slack and Trello, we mainly use for our team, uh, communication within our team and coaches. And on the right, are uh, the technological stacks that we use. So the app was built mainly on Ruby on Rails for the backend framework. And for collaboration, we use GitHub. So one of the best practices that our coaches taught us um, was like the submitting of uh, pull request. Uh, for our code to be reviewed by them. So we cannot just suka suka just put any code up there, right? So we had to submit our request and then after that they will look at our code and they will review it. And then we have on top of that we have integration tests. So only when the test and the coach's approval are, are met, are we allowed to merge it into this uh, master code base. So this ensures that we actually have less errors, uh, less room for errors in our application and introduce less bugs. Okay, so now on to the highlight of the presentation. Uh, which is our product demo. So um, for the purpose of demo, we'll be taking you through the entire process, uh, the ap application process to the bootcamp. So from the application, uh, application form submission to the code review and on to the final selection. Okay, so the users of this app, we have three different stakeholders. So just for the purpose of demonstration, Hui Min will play the role of an applicant. She will be applying as herself. Uh, Maggie will play the role of an admin. And myself, I'll be representing the coaches. So I think without further ado, let's start the application process. Cool. All right. Right, so as you can see, um, most of the public pages over here we have kept as per the existing Tech Ladies page, except for this additional button here that says Apply. So if you click onto that, you'll be able to see all the boot camps that will be open for application. So once you click into that as an applicant, I will be able to fill in all my details. Over right here. Right, and then at the end, right after I answer all the questions, uh, to the questions, I'll be able to choose my team. So suppose I want to pick uh, Aware Singapore for now. So when I create my application, uh, I will automatically get an email that uh, puts in a link for me to access uh, my application. Right, so suppose for this time around, I want to pick SPCA as the team that I want to apply to. So once I update my application, that will be the end um, of this submission. So Maggie, right now as an admin, will take you through how my application is processed at the back end.
Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, here as an admin, step one, log into the admin console. So here we go. Okay, over here, this is the admin console. I'm able to create, a, add a new bootcamp, create new questions, and even uh, create coach criteria. So back to the focus on the selection of the Back to the focus on the selection of the participant. So we will click on view first card applicants. Here is the list of applicants which has submit for the after which the list of applicants that have submit for the final submission after completing the uh, technical task list. Click on Click on Hui Ming. Okay, as Hui Ming as the applicants, we click on it. We will be able to see the um, answers that he, she has replied for the applications. So should I? Uh, uh, there's only two options: whether to coach to review or to reject. So should I reject Hui Ming, or should I accept, uh, send to coach to review? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we have accept who it means to for coach to review. Okay. So over here, okay, after select, uh, the coach to review, you will see the whole list of applicants for, that is to send to the coach. So we will click on send to coach. It will create a magic link, a special URL to for the coaches to view. Okay, so hand over to Shirlene as the coach. Okay, um, yeah. So as a coach, I'll receive an email with a link, uh, and then when I click on it, I'll end up on this page. So um, this is the assessments index page. Um, over here, I should see the list of applicants that has already been chopped the first time by Elijah. So these, these applicants are the ones that are applying to my team. So I can see that Hui Min's name has gone through the system and appeared here. And when I click on edit, um, the questions and answers that she has submitted um, during the application process, um, I can see them here. And as a coach, I have to click on the GitHub link because um, there is this component, which is the technical task that I have to access. So clicking on this will lead us to a GitHub page. Okay. So anyway, I'm not going to click on that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So uh, we can move on to the scoring part. Okay. Uh, on the right side, you can see um, the criteria that have been set by the admin, who is Elijah, and the coaches. So these criteria for now, they're just criteria one, two, and three. But basically, there are two different kinds of criteria. So the first criteria is a yes and no. Uh, it's, a, it's a Boolean uh, criteria. And the second criteria is a rating from one to 10. So let us go ahead and fill, fill in this uh, for women. So the first question is a yes and no question. Usually, it'll be questions like, uh, so is this applicant female or identify as a female? So I guess mostly you'll put yes, right? OK, so the second criteria um, will be something like uh, rate the partic participants' technical skills from 1 to 10. In this case, we mean it's technical skill quite good. Uh, so I'll put 9. <laughs> and then for the rest, I'll just put a random and I'll probably rank her at 2. And for coaches' uh, comments, they'll probably put something like, oh, you know, good technical skills. And then they will update the assessment. So when I go back to the assessments page, I can see that Hui Min's rank has been updated as two. You all can see, okay. And the comment is there for sure as well. So in order to fill in and submit this coach's ranking uh, as a whole, right, I need to fill in all the rankings. Otherwise, it will throw me an error. Okay. So I go on to fill in the other rankings. And then I click update ranks. 
And then as a coach, I'll click on Submit Coaches Ranking. So once I click on this button, uh, as a coach, I'm no longer able to access uh, any editing of assessments. And this um, result will be sent to Elijah for the final cut. Maggie, come take over. Wait, Maggie, she makes it. Okay. Okay. As an admin, I will back to the admin console itself over here. So what I should do right now is after the coach review, I click on the view final cut applicants, where it will list down all the applicants that has been selected according is sorted according to the ranking. So as you can see, Hui Ming is among the top few of the applicants that is of this book camp selection. So just click on select. Okay. So right now as you can see, she is into the book camp. And over here, Elijah will be able to update the payment status of the applicants. That's the end of the whole selection process of the uh, book camp. So over here, with this, uh, with the application, it streamlined the selection of the uh, whole process of the application. And finally, our baby is out to give birth to this baby. We, we face a lot of challenges. Three of us actually come from different uh, backgrounds. We have a steep uh, learning curve and to, for coding, we have to understand syntax methods to use and more. Thanks to the coaches for the extra hours of coaching and sharing of extra reads up, things get tough when we, it comes to communication, especially for introverts like me. Um, it's slow to warm up and plus our busy working schedule, we have to work off-site to get different parts um, integrated together. Next come our biggest challenge, which is the bug fix. We become a bug killer, hunting down the bugs so that the application can run smoothly. Although it is challenging for us, but it is rewarding. Uh, three of us, our friendship has grown, and most importantly, new skill set has added. Lastly, we like to share our individual bootcamp journey. Uh, let me start first. Uh, I've been. I have been working alone on interactive database software and most of the time I'm just getting stakeholders to stick down what they need in the application and start working on it. And my biggest takeaway during the bootcamp is uh, get to learn more collaboration tools and experience working in a development team. And I used to believe that I just need to communicate with the computer, not with humans. So <laughs> a lot of communication and understanding um, in the team and between stakeholders is a need. So thanks to the bootcamp, I can apply what I learned and understand what is happening behind the scenes, um, behind the development scenes in my current new job. Uh, pass on to Shalin. Thank you, Maggie. Hi again, guys. So, um, sorry. Yeah, so my background, um, I actually come from a sports science background but I've tried different industries and my most recent industry was in the pet industry. So my key takeaway for the bootcamp um, is really my understanding of what is good code. So um, I guess there's been talk in the industry saying that, you know, hey, you know this guy can solve this problem in a one-liner. So does shorter code means better code? Uh, so that's a, that's a debatable question. Uh. So our coaches actually made us come up with the definition of what good code is. And because I think as my teammate Maggie has said, right, development and programming as a whole is a very collaborative activity. So we are not really just coding for ourselves. You know, we're just not, not, not just coding to look at our own code, but we're actually coding uh, in a team. So it's very important that other people understand our code as well. So to me, I think what good code is is that, is that number one, it should be readable or you know, uh, have emphasis on readability at least. Okay, so my um, misconceptions of 
programming and the industry as a whole is that uh, you have to be good at math to start coding. Um, so this actually deterred me from beginning uh, programming at the start for quite long because my math is really, really bad, like really bad. <laughs> But then after I started programming, right, I realized that you know, um, the key skill to learn or to transfer over is not the maths per se, but it's the ability to break down very big problems right, into smaller chunks. Okay? And then to apply a little bit of logic to go and solve that small problem. Uh, so it just revolves around a bit of common sense and logic, at least for web development at least. You know? um, okay, so um, I'll move on to the results and what's next. Um, having graduated from the Tech Ladies Bootcamp and also a full-time bootcamp um, at Alpha Camp recently, I think um, the key learning point also is um, it actually helped me to build my confidence uh, in programming. Compared to now, and compared from now to the last six months, I think I've improved a bit. And also, um, these bootcamps taught me how to learn. So programming is like a different skill altogether, right? Um, to be able to learn that new skill and apply how to learn that new skill, I think I can use the same model and apply it to other kinds of programming concepts and programming languages, which I think is very valuable for me on the whole. And what's next for me? I think with these new skills, I hope to go into the tech industry by looking for a junior software development role. Um, I'm also open to internships. And most importantly, I think that learning never stops. So for this bootcamp, we were taught uh, Ruby and Ruby on Rails. The next area that I'll be going into is JavaScript, uh, namely React and Node.js. And I'm very excited to see how this actually differs from Ruby and Ruby on Rails. So yeah, so on to Hui Min to the conclusion. Hi, uh, Hui Min again. So I'm a part-time analyst and a full-time coffee enthusiast. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, for me, my takeaway from this boot camp, um, I think, is to step away from the code. Sometimes you really need to do that because oftentimes I find that when I'm stuck in a rut, you know, either debugging or, or working against a timeline, uh, I tend, my, my time tends to be counterproductive because I get overwhelmed by all the things that I have to do and solve. So oftentimes when I step away from the code uh, and take the time to breathe and refocus, I find that I come back uh, a little bit more, uh, like I can focus a bit more, uh, and then my time becomes efficient because I can think through problems more logically. So my advice is to step away from the code. My misconception prior to entering this bootcamp was that I used to think programmers are intimidating because they're smart, they're focused, they don't want to talk to you. But that's not, that's not the case at all. I find that throughout this experience, at least in the Ruby community, people are extremely, incredibly supportive. They're always so willing to teach, to mentor, and to coach. And to these people, I and we are all very grateful for. So results for me, after this bootcamp, I have picked up some side projects, mainly dealing with web design. I'm also beginning to help uh, out with a friend, send me shadowing him to build an enterprise system for a mid-sized company. And so what's next for me? I want to build more applications. Uh, I'm keen to pick up side projects. So if any of you have any ideas to share, looking at you guys, <laughs> uh, come talk to me uh, and come talk to us at the end of this presentation. Okay, so that's all we have for you. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Questions? So I'm going to take the next few minutes for Q&A. Does anyone have any questions for these ladies? Anything that you're curious about? What's of encouragement? So how long did that take, you guys? And how long did what take? Doing all the app. Like, how, how long do you estimate it, did it take you to do that? OK, so uh, our boot camp was formerly three months. So we started in July. Uh, we we want to say we are 95% there. Uh, the only thing that we have to do right now is to push it <laughs> to Heroku, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it takes about three plus one, two months, I would say. Yeah. 
So I'm going to use it for the next bootcamp. So the next bootcamp, you'll see this in what I will see this in, <laughs> in action for the next bootcamp. Right? Any other questions? Should I assign someone to ask questions? Anyone? Okay. If not. These ladies will definitely be staying through the event and uh, feel free to talk to them, ask any questions. Um, the business people are looking for tech co-founder, you know who to find. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause.